Good morning, ladies and gentlefolk. How are you? So the weather's gone a bit crazy. Um, a bit of rumbling thunder and a bit windy. Um, I'm just going to start this episode with a little job I'm going to do. I'll show you. Sorry about the wind. All right. Two seconds. I'm going to reclad the front door because it's horrendous and there's like big holes in it and so you can't really tell that I've drawn on all the lines where it's going to be sort of like herringbone style door all these I'll sand them back and they'll cross over like that on the door So, I've cleared the front bit off, looks better already. And then, I'll just have to take the handle off, take this padlock thing off. And then I'll just start cutting and putting them on. You can see how bad the door is though, look. You can put you, no good. Ooh, four's dag. Ping! That looks better, doesn't it? Not bad for some scraps anywhere. Just need to stain it with some sort of like weatherproof gear. I was gonna do them both herringbone style like that, but I didn't have the right length planks and enough of them to be able to finish it, so I just did it the other way. But it looks fine. Might not be uh, permanent anywhere. That blue looks disgusting, doesn't it? I'm just going to rip all that off and just put some wood around it. Make it look a bit better at least. It's much better about that blue. I better reframe it though. There we go. Sorry about the wind. Can't be helped. Smells better. I'm just trying to get a bit of a better angle for you to see it on, but... You get the picture. Right, next job. Need to check the polytunnel. The weather's been awful though, so it won't have uh, boiled it to death, which is good. So you actually should be able to hear me in here because the wind's not in here. something in for the bird house I'll do that now because I want them to grow up there we go there's a few props in just to make them stand up they're starting to take over the path look not much I can do about that and I've stood up the um, bird house squash I really want that to work, so it'll be amazing. But hopefully it trails up this, and I'll put in some thicker jute when it starts to trail, but I'm sure it will, because look how many tendrils it's sending off. But everything's pretty much pumping in here now, which is good to see. The last few days. Yeah. I just have to start training everything up the way rather than along the floor. Because look at the 
prop all this big bad boy up. You be careful with these ones though because they're super spiky. I don't know if you can see. Really sharp them ones. And there we go. There's a ramshackle stick in there but I kind of like how it looks. But give it something to crawl up rather than the floor. Hold it back slightly. Hopefully that'll work. So I'll just water all the chilies and everything. And that's pretty much the polytunnel for now, folks. Right, that's everything supported. I had to put these sticks in for these tomato plants because they'd flopped. But I need to get some bamboo canes really, make some cages. Uh, on the note of supporting, I'd love to say thanks very much for all the support recently, supporters. You've been absolutely phenomenal, so you rock. In a little strawberry spinach, strawberries coming out on this as well. It's good to see. This is one of the strawberry spinach plants that didn't get put in. Tiny, huh? Hmm, really good. Right, I'll harvest the potatoes over here. Harvest these. I won't film it because you've already seen it before. But I'll show when I've cleared it out and we'll put something new in this bed. There we go. All out. Fresh bed and I'll put something new straight in there. And that's what we've got. A good load of them. So from that, I think we did about six or eight potatoes. Let's turn into that many for the double fun. Hey, bud. I'll deal with some of these herbs as well. Some of them I go inside, I use them for cooking. It's nice just to have them at hand in the kitchen. Uh, I wish you could smell some of this. This is the apple mint. It smells lovely. Lemon bergamot. Lemon balm. Uh, vanilla basil. You alright mate? Just don't go in the garden and eat the veg. You can be anywhere else. I'm also going to clear out this tester bed and put something proper in it and cover it. So I cleared that space and cleared that space, put something new in. I'll just clean it up a little bit. I won't film it, but thanks to Paul and Jules. There's a tripod on the way, so I'll be able to film much more. Yes. So not very many from those two plants, but they only came out because um, they got destroyed by the heat wave. They didn't even flower yet, so I'm not surprised that they didn't produce, which is a shame. But these things happen. There's a little mini one as well. Look. Magpie going nuts. While I remember, I'll give these a um, seaweed feed. Going a little battle. This is the seaweed feed that I use.
whole lot of bear sightings recently. I was in the woods the other night and there was a big bear. Well, I had to hide from it. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping to get some footage of one very soon. I'm going to try and save this patch of grass. Seems that August is around the corner. Um, I'll put some green manure on it to improve it because it's where I had massive fires in the winter. So the soil's going to be no good. I'll improve it with, I think, got some green manure. So that's it seeded and covered. Cover it with a bit of mulch, help it not dry out and stop the birds just eating it all. But hopefully that'll improve the soil back to what it was and then maybe next year I'll grass it again. And then cut these out and hang them and dry them. See if we can make some reefs in the autumn as a little side hustle. Well, we'll see how it goes. So I'll cut them, hang them and move them into the barn so they're out of the direct sunlight let them dry out never tried it before so we'll see what happens with them just going to string up another line of them and then i'll take them in the barn should have had the uh, head mount really but just to show you there they are color on them's awesome isn't it hang them dry them Let's see what we get um i'm also gonna Maybe pull one of the linens now and hang that in here as well. But I'll just see if it's actually ready. I just caught the rabbit in here. Unbelievable. Hey you! Get you! I told you, Sven. Pack it in. Still waiting on this linen being ready because once it comes out I'm going to use this whole back corner area and I'm going to build a duck house. You know what? I'm impatient. Let's build a duck house. We'll rip that out. So I've cut four legs for it. Like it's going to be on stilts. It'll be like a little Viking airframe duck house. I was thinking, you know, linen. Do I need it? I've got clubs, so. But Indian runner ducks, that's something that I do need. Sven just sits and watches. Hey, bud. <laughs> Ben, you're not going in that polytunnel. This rabbit, gutsy. Hey. Yeah, I know he's been trampling all the plants now. <laughs> Doesn't care. Better close this so he doesn't go in there. Animals are farving wood, eh? Anyway, that'll do for sealing the ends. I'll use this big plank, it's almost like a scaffolding plank. Found it in the barn. That'll do for my uh, framing and joists. Haha! And luckily, I've got styrofoam that was left here. So the ducks or chickens won't get cold. Right, that's the floor insulated. I'm just bored over that. So there's the top boards done out of scraps as per usual. 
Right, sorry I had a bit of a battery malfunction then. Um, nothing's really changed anyway. I just put these sideboards on to bring it out a bit further. So these A-frames, which would be easier if I could... Uh, let's have a look how we're going to do this. Maybe I can show you like this. Don't worry, the tripod is coming on um, Wednesday, apparently. It's going to sit like that. Hopefully you can see that. So I'll put all those in. So that's them up. Just going to put some bits in between here so no animals can get into that and that'll have a big sort of like hatch door that opens up to clean it. And then on the front I'll have a entrance. I'll just put all these middle bits in and it'll straighten everything out and make it a bit more animal proof, predator proof, shall I say. So that's the predator proofing done. Just added two bits. One on the front, two on the sides. So I put a plastic in the bottom. It's like a little membrane so it can be ripped out and changed from time to time. And we'll just put boards in there that can be removed and washed individually and not attached because I can't think how, how else to do the floor at the moment. Might change it later. So that's the floor in. Oh doesn't it look magical? And um, so you can just pull this bar out which stops them all being clamped together. Same on the other side and then you can just pull them out when you want. Wash them off. Right, now I'll figure out the um, walls and liftable door. Oh, and the, all this has been pulled ready. You really can't see because my shadow. And there's the linen, flaxseed. It's far too early, but Operation Runner Duck took over. Funny thing about this is um, I've not actually tried to pick it up since putting all this weight on it. So that could be fun. did find some black scraps of uh, underlay for the roof but there's not enough of it and it looks like shibab so I might I might rip it all off because it only goes to there anyway with little scraps look scrap scrap scraps mm, I'm unsure so I had enough scrap plastic to cover it in plastic as as the uh, I ran out of the black tar that were, paper that was scavenged. Don't know what to do for the roof, so I'm gonna try a little idea by putting this string on and using dried hay and grass and build it up almost like a thatched roof. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'll give it a shot. Hmm. Yeah, that could work. It's not the traditional way of thatching a roof, but we would use um they're like wooden u-shaped pins and you pin each bundle and then you overlap 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 but i don't have those so i'm using that string that holds it all and i might be able to get might be able to pin it here and there just to take a bit more of the weight off it see if i've got another grass there we go took its time but just like anything, time is the most expensive commodity. But well worth it, I think. Looks good. I don't know if you can see because the sun might be in the way. But you get the picture. I just need to figure out how to do the same on the other side, but with a liftable door. It weighs a ton. I had to move it out a little bit so I could work on this side. I got the door in. Unfortunately, I only had these little piddly hinges, so I could only do one door. I did want the full thing to be a door that opened up, but those little tiny hinges probably wouldn't have hacked it for very long. But I might be able to change it at a later date. I'll just clad this bit, seal it, and work out how I'm going to thatch this side. Oh, 
and try and find a handle as well for this. I couldn't find a handle. Tried to make one, but it's all right, isn't it? And that's clad. Just need to clad this little top bit in here, seal it, and then I'll start the thatching process again. There we go, the other side thatched. The door came up good, look. <laughs> cool, isn't it? Like a uh, secret Robin Hood door or something. I'll, um, I need to do something with this bit. Uh, I need to panel the front, panel the back, and then I might even insulate the inside, but we'll see how much room it would take up. Back section done, clad, sealed and thatched. I'll just go do the front and sort out the top ridge. She's almost complete. Clad the front, sealed it, thatched it. Unfortunately, I had to use this blue string because it's all I had. Look at this little key feature. Ah. Sort that out a bit better. Just need to make the door. It should be fun. I'll have to try and scavenge a hinge from somewhere. But it's looking good. Well, apart from I tried to move it and the leg got a bit burnt. So I'll have to fix that as well. And I dig out this bit so when it does come to moving it, I can just swing it round and down. I'm only going to do it about as deep as this bed, so I just need to dig that front little section there. But it's looking good, I think. Tell me what you think in the comments. And there's word of Indian runner ducks that could possibly be got this week. So things are looking good. So I've dug its little patch. I'm going to have to wait until I can have a hand moving it, though it's not happening little door on just need a lockable thing for it to keep it shut at night but should be grand pop there she is done I'll do me for now anyway I need to do um, a top ridge on there but I need some screws. I've only got really little tack nails and it just won't work for it. And I'll put some treads on this as well. But that's it in place at least. It weighs an absolute ridiculous amount. So it won't be moving again. But jobs are good in. And I'm thinking of turning that into a pond. So ducks have got somewhere, you know. But that'll probably be in the next episode. Um, I found two Indian runner ducks for ridiculously cheap. Hopefully we can get those. So in the next episode, there might be some ducks. So that's going to do it, folks. Um, hope you like the little Viking duck house. Um, thanks to all the supporters as always you're all a magic uh, keep watching keep commenting subscribe help us out and i will see you in the next one hopefully with ducks okay bye